I'm going to be sharing my little tips and tricks on how to make your fragrance last all day and last longer. I will just spray this thing all over my body. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. You will smell good. I found peace in your violence. Can't tell me there's no point in hi guys hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is akune kamsi and i'm a content creator based in abuja and if you're not new here you're very much welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm going to be sharing my little tips and tricks on how to make your fragrance last all day and last longer what i need you to understand is that smelling good every day is very very important smelling good help you to stand out when you're with other people and also make you feel very very good so if that's what you're looking for in this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please subscribe let's get right into the video so the first tip in making your fragrance last all day is get in the shower to make your fragrance last all day starts with a good bath you need to have a clean skin a clean base so you need to have a good clean bath for your fragrance to last longer please on my account should you max like cover up body odor with fragrance this just make everything worse like you're literally going to stink for you to make your fragrance last longer you need to have a good and clean bath make sure you exfoliate your skin while in the shower to get rid of dead skin cells so having a good bath is the first thing exfoliation is the second thing the third thing is make use of a scented body wash making use of a scented body wash create a foundation for the layer of your fragrance using a scented body wash is one of the key in making your fragrance last longer this is one thing you don't have to skip so make sure you use a scented body wash in the shower this help in setting the foundation of your fragrance you'll be using the scented body wash i love and i'm currently using is the scent ives scent ives exfoliating body wash pink lemon and mandarin orange this one i've used up to three containers of this i love this body wash so much it smells so nice when i mean so nice i mean so nice the other another one i love is the scent ives and um, shea butter and oatmeal that one too smells so nice Basically, all Sentai's body wash smell nice. I love them so much. I also love Dove. Dove too. Their body wash smells so nice. Then another one I also love is the Nivea body wash. This smells nice. But yes, they smell so nice. Like, ah, they smell so nice. But they don't smell... They have milder scents. Like, the scent for, from this Nivea is milder compared to the scent eyes but these body washes smell so freaking nice and um, using the center body wash in the shower sets the foundation sets the tone for layering your fragrance so these are the ones i love i love dove i love nivea i love scent eyes this is my baby this particular one is my baby but i love the arrange i've tried a couple of them but i don't know why i keep coming back to this one i love it so i keep buying this one even if it's finished i will still go and buy it i love this one so much it smells so nice so freaking nice so the next tip is moisturize your skin now if your skin is dry and flaky and you use a fragrance on your body it's going to wear off within two seconds so make sure that your skin is super hydrated and moisturized so for this you can use a body lotion a body butter or a body oil for this hydration so one of the things i love doing is combining my moisturizer or my lotion my body lotion with a perfume oil so for example currently using this um nivea nivea radiant beauty even glow blah 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 body lotion so i'm going to do that i'm going to like combine my body lotion with my perfume oil to first apply the body oil on my palm right then i'm going to go in with the body um i'm going to go in with the with the lotion and then i'll combine both of them and then i'll apply them on my skin this is one of the trick i've been doing for 
for years. I don't even know. This just sticks like this makes the body oil to stick to your skin, like scented perfume oil to stick to your skin, and you'll just be smelling so nice. Like ah, this smells so good. <laughs> This smells so good. After I apply my the, my mixture, which is my body lotion and my and my scented perfume oil, I will apply this all over my body. This just makes sure that the scented perfume oil sticks to my skin. And after that, I will go in with my either my body oil or my body butter. It could be scented, it could be nonsense. This is the body butter I use. This one. So I go in with this after I apply my body lotion mixed with my perfume oil so i go with my body butter this is not scented so it could be scented it could not be scented anyone is perfectly fine the reason for making sure that your skin is well hydrated and also using a perfume body oil with your body lotion is to ensure that the moisture locking the scent into your skin you're going to be smelling yummy like you're going to smell so sweet right so the next tip in making your fragrance last longer is use a body mist. I know some people say, oh, I don't like body mist. They don't last long. They are one of the key things in making your fragrance last long. Body mist don't last as long as perfume, right? But they last long. So the key, the, the key thing in making them last longer for you is you need to overspray the body mist and you need to spray the body mist when your skin is well moisturized so after applying your hey, i still smell good <laughs> so after applying your body lotion mixed with your perfume oil or your body and your skin and then using your body butter and your body oil and your skin is super hydrated and moisturized then you now come in with your body mist you will now spray it eh? the body mist now stick to the moisturized skin and and like when is when, when your body mist sticks to your moisturized skin, it goes nowhere like literally to stick to your skin and you'll be smelling so nice body mist you need to over spray like you will spray it you're about to bait yourself with the body mist. like it sticks to your moisturized body it makes the body mist last longer so there are different types of body mist and the ones i really really love is victoria's secret i just love the range from the victoria's secret it's i just see myself gravitating towards that one then also i love bath and body works it's just that it is now expensive bath and body works now i think is from between 18k to um 20k around that range you get one bath and body works another one is a body ecology yes but the ecology has beautiful body mist toasted vanilla i'll leave it somewhere i love that one so much but um the body ecology is very very good and another brand i love their body mist is dear body ah these ones like they are affordable body ecology dear body are quite affordable so dear body body ecology they have beautiful body mist then the og body mist we know fantasy. yes fantasy Fantasy body mist, our OG. Those that know fantasy from that was the body mist I was using when I was in secondary school. Why well, still buy it though? If I see that, I see. But I'm going to leave them on the screen. Body fantasy has wonderful body mist and it smells so nice. Dear body smells so nice. Body ecology smells so nice. Victoria's Secret smells so nice. And um, what is it called? Um, Bath and Body Works chef kiss these body mist are the ones i love i have not tried other body mist. these are the ones i keep going to buy in the market in the stores but i've not tried other body mist but any body mist you love just so that this is the step your body mist is meant to come into play so another thing i do with my body mist that i also love doing is that i love mixing my body mist with my perfume oil so what i do is that i use a, a perfume decanter i'm going to leave a picture of that on the screen i use a perfume decanter i take out from this and i take out from this and then i mix them together and i put them into this so i'll just maybe take like this is 15 ml right so i probably will just take five ml of the body mist and then i'll take five ml of the perfume oil and then i'll put it into this hey this is a game changer i'll put into this perfume atomizer this is a game changer I will just spray this thing all over my body. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. You will smell 
good when i mean good because one thing you need to know is that perfume oil is like the highest concentration of perfume so there is no what is it called alcohol in perfume oil it's just pure form of the perfume because normally your perfume is made up of perfume oil and alcohol right but perfume oil is like the hundred percent of that kind of perfume you're using it's just one of the things i do my secrets one of the things i do so yeah just i should share <laughs> So the next tip is use a good deodorant slash antiperspirant. This is very, very important. The difference between deodorant and antiperspirant, but me personally, especially in this part of the world where it is hot, please get both a deodorant and an antiperspirant in one. Now, deodorant help to neutralize body odor caused by bacteria which break down the sweat so this bacteria breaks down the sweat and cause body odor so what deodorant does is that they mark up like they they neutralize the body odor the difference between deodorant and antiperspirant the antiperspirant stops production of excessive sweat in your underarm so antiperspirant help in controlling sweat production they help to dry up sweat they help to reduce sweat production so when there is no sweat production this bacteria cannot break down those things in the sweat and cause body odor so you see why i say you should use both a deodorant and an antiperspirant in one so as the deodorant is maxing is neutralizing body odor the antiperspirant is stopping the production of excessive sweat in your underarm so what deodorant and antiperspirant do is that they help in boosting your confidence because you can be smelling so nice you can be smelling so sweet but when you raise up your arm you're sweating on your clothes under your arm you're sweating or when you raise up your arm you have this um, sweat mark it's not like you're smelling you just have sweat mark in your underarm it's not a good sight to be honest even though you're smelling nice that's sweat mark sweat just a ton of like it just makes you feel somehow so try to invest in a good deodorant and antiperspirant it will go a very long way in boosting your confidence and also elevating your smell because once you don't use deodorant and you use perfume you will still stink you will stink you especially when the weather is hot you know it's a deodorant you know it's an antiperspirant but you pack out the whole perfume in this world you will stink so make sure you invest in a good deodorant and antiperspirant the one of the deodorant and antiperspirant i love is nivea this dry impacts from the men collection i don't even use the uh, women deodorant because i've noticed over time that it doesn't last as long as the men the men deodorant i always go for this dry impact i love it so much like once you apply this thing you will not sweat in your underarm you will not sweat you will not you you your underarm will not stink Nivea dry impact. I really love it. I also love um, their, their spray, their antiperspirant spray. I also love that one. I also love Dove. But Rexonia, I love that one. Wait to put pictures of them. I love Rexonia. I love Dove. I love Nivea and um, the spray antiperspirant. But when it comes to roll on, I always buy Nivea. This dry impact. This is the one I use because it just gets the job done. But when it comes to spray, I can use Dove, I can use Rexonia, I can use um, Nivea. Yeah, these are the three I always navigate to when it comes to spray. I want you to note, please shave your underarm. This is not as a lady, as a man, as a, as a woman being. <laughs> please shave your underarm. Now, where there is excessive hair can be a very good breeding ground for bacteria. The hairs are a breeding ground for bacteria. So bacteria hide on like hide in these hairs, right? So when you sweat, perfect. The bacteria can now act on that sweat and make you start smelling. So please shave your underarm even though you have deodorant, even though you have antiperspirant. Please learn to shave your underarm. So the next tip is apply Vaseline in the areas you're going to apply your perfume. Ideally, you should be applying your perfume on your pulse point. So um, you should be applying your perfume behind your ears. These are your pulse point behind your ears, your neck, in between your ears, your cleavage, in front of your elbow, your wrists, in front of your wrists, 
them that's both sides that anything i'm doing you're doing the both sides so yeah 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 your cleavage um your be in front of your elbows your wrists behind your knee and at your ankle so these are the places you should be applying your perfume so the key thing is to take your vestim and apply on these places before applying your perfume right apply vestim on your pulse point that's where you should be applying your perfume so what vestim does is that vestim makes your fragrance last longer so if someone let's say for example someone does not apply vestim and they apply their fragrance around their pulse point the, that person's fragrance will wear like wear out faster than me that applied perfume around my pulse points before applying my perfume so what um vaseline does is that it makes my fragrance last longer next tip is now going with your perfume oil so you're going to be applying your perfume oil on your pulse points the same way you applied your vaseline is the way you're going to be applying your perfume oil i love perfume oil like i love them this is just i just bought this one for this video if you want to see a video on affordable perfume oil please let me know i'm going to do it yes let me know in the comment section if you want to see affordable perfume oil that smell very very nice please let me know i'm going to do a video on that i'm going to actually do a video on that but just let me know i love perfume oils i love them so much because perfume oil is 100 percent perfume like normally your perfume consists i said it before your perfume consists of perfume oil and alcohol so the higher the perfume oil the better for that fragrance so but perfume oil is already 100 percent of that perfume like 100 percent so perfume oil is stronger i love perfume oils so make sure you apply your perfume oils around your pulse point after applying your vaseline the vaseline makes your perfume last longer so perfume oil on its own already lasts longer right you cannot imagine applying um, perfume oil on your pulse point where there is already vaseline this will make the perfume oil even last more longer and another thing is that you can't apply perfume oil on your clothes it's unless you're wearing a black cloth because perfume oil stains clothes right you just have oil mark like you just finished eating something <laughs> so it's not advisable to apply perfume oil on your clothes unless you want to and what's it called unless you're wearing a black cloth it won't really show when you're wearing a black cloth so you can apply perfume oil on a black cloth or you can apply perfume oil on especially white it's going to leave a mark on your on your white clothes so another thing you can do is that mixing the perfume oil with your body mist and then you apply over your clothes that's another game changer right yes but apply perfume oil on your post point chef kiss you're going to smell very very good so what like what i said back of your ear your neck your cleavage inner inner elbow inner wrist behind your knee and your ankle please make sure you apply perfume oil around your post point and you're going to smell sweet all day so the next tip is apply your perfume please make sure you apply your perfume on your pulse points the reason being you apply your perfume on your pulse point this makes your perfume last longer so after applying the vaseline the perfume oil apply the perfume on those spots you apply those these two things that vaseline and perfume oil that's on your pulse point and the reason when someone hugs you they smell this part of your body so if like the way i'm smelling now eh, if i hug somebody definitely ask what am i wearing because i smell good so you're going to be perceiving everything from me do you understand so please spray your perfumes on your pulse point it is very very important spray your perfume on the perfume oil and vaseline that you applied on your pulse point this is a game changer this will make your perfume last longer and only not only will it make your perfume last longer it will make you not to use so much perfume so you see another thing you're being economical this bring me to another thing please when you spray your perfume like when you spray when you spray your perfume please don't do this thing this is now nah, it is a no no don't rub don't rub your hand after spray your perfume you know what this thing does 
when you do this it breaks the top note of your perfume and once the, the top note of a perfume is the first note that hits you when you spray a perfume when you, when you break down the top notes by rubbing doing this thing you do you just distort the molecule in that fragrance and you by breaking down the top note obviously you're making the perfume that like starts from top note to go to middle note to now go to base note and this will make your perfume not to last longer when you distort the molecule in your fragrance so please don't do this thing what you're going to do is if you spray here right if you spray here you come and spray here too don't rub just spray and leave it to sink into your skin leave it to sink into your body don't rub and distort your fragrance right don't spray your fragrance close to your skin like this you see it just makes the i don't know if you can see let me put it here so when you spray it very close to your skin it just makes the fragrance drip i don't know if you can see it's dripping this is not what you want you don't want your fragrance to be dripping like this so if you want to spray a fragrance spray the fragrance keep a little bit of distance so you understand do you see this this is different so you spray your fragrance so that the mist can what's the word can just puff out <laughs> so you're spraying like you get so that you can evenly distribute ah that's the English so you can evenly distribute the fragrance on your body at your pulse points don't spray your fragrance too close to your skin so it doesn't start dripping spray off give a little bit distance then spray your fragrance so that it can evenly distribute around your pulse point right then secondly you can also spray your fragrance on your clothes like me i will spray on my clothes but after i must spray on my pulse point first before i spray on my clothes also please don't forget to spray your fragrance on your wigs and your hair most especially you can spray your fragrance on your brush so let's say like for example i have my natural hair on i can spray my fragrance on my brush then i'll brush my hair this just because most fragrance contains alcohol and alcohol can be drying to your hair so it's better you just spray them on your what's it called your comb your brush before you now comb comb your hair and brush your hair this just reduce the alcohol that will be on your hair right then second if you're wearing wig you could do the same thing you could spray the fragrance on your hair brush before brushing your wigs or you could just spray it directly there are also fragrance for hair they are hair fragrance if you can afford it that's fine you can buy fragrance for your hair i know keali has some hair fragrance so if you can afford it that's good buy a hair fragrance you can be spraying on your hair but if you can't afford it then this is the trick and tip for you so the last and final tip is reapply your fragrance don't be scared to reapply fragrance spray your fragrance it is meant for spraying so spray it so that's why i always recommend having a perfume atomizers in your bag so that you can retouch you can respray your fragrance you having their different perfume atomizers in the market just have one in your bag have one with your favorite perfume or fragrance in them and spray before you enter a place spray you're going to a place spray you're feeling funky spray like spray your fragrance reapply your fragrance don't be scared to reapply fragrance like when you're outside and you feel like oh my fragrance is no longer no longer smelling very nice take your perfume atomizers i'm an advocate for having perfume atomizers in your bag take your perfume atomizers or take your small perfume oils and apply reapply so that you always smell good according to auntie fumi she says put that shit on <laughs> put the shit on put it on so that you smell good so this comes to the conclusion of this video if you found this video very helpful please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please subscribe please hit the notification bell to know when next i post my next video if you have any question whatsoever please don't forget to leave it in the comment section i'll be there to answer all your questions and i will see you in my next one i love you so much thank you for watching kisses bye <laughs> Room 2110, I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite, cause I needed more from you.